Now, I didn't even get myself no water. My lips probably going to be ashy. All right, we need to just go ahead and hop into this thing right here. Look, Caitlin, y'all already 0-5. Y'all are already 0-5. You got a game tonight against the fucking Los Angeles Sparks, who might I also add got one of the baddest rosters in the motherfucking WNBA. Bitch wanna die because she know I caught a lie. Look, bitches, if we not looking at basketball for Kayla motherfucking Clark's ass, we damn sure gonna be looking for this motherfucking roster they got over there. Cameron Brink, <sighs> these bitches is bad. I know you're looking at me like, damn, you're gonna, gonna say the white girl, but it's because I only remember her name. <laughs> <laughs> no, but check it out. We got a Katie Lou Samuelson. I think she might also be white, but uh, Olivia Nelson too. I'm going to put their pictures up in these shit so y'all can see these women. They are beautiful. They are gorgeous. Guys, check it out. If it ain't for the goddamn sport and to be entertained, goddamn, we got to have something else to come there and see. And that's something that you can come there and see. Rosters are beautiful. It's beautiful women all up and down. These rosters, man, it's Kelsey Plum. Oh my God, these women look good. The woman look good. So we ain't there to go see, be entertained by y'all basketball play. God damn it, bring us something else. Because I told y'all, if you're as old as me, you remember when they started wearing makeup in the WNBA trying to get male attention. Now they ain't got to do that. And I think that's one of the reasons why these old heads is mad as fuck right now. I think these old heads mad as fuck because these bitches look good. I'm sorry for calling y'all bitches, but uh, I'm sorry. I said somebody say that I'm a little bit too vulgar. And I apologize, but I'm an 80s baby. I'm right at the cusp. I'm 1980 to be exact. So I was born and raised around all this. Why you think I got Dave Chappelle on my wall and, and, and Richard Pryor and Red Fox and motherfucking Eddie Murphy? Why you think I got the people on my wall? <laughs> they, they raised me. <laughs> they raised me. That's why I got a mouth like this. So that's why I talk about women, but I don't talk about women like that. I don't never mean none of that shit. I had somebody before said that they, uh, uh, I'm going to put it right there. Right there, her quote that she said what she had said about me, that I just, I'm a, she gonna give me a pass for saying the bitch like that. She gave me a pass because she understand how I use it. And I don't use it to insult y'all. But God damn it, y'all gonna need this bitch Kaylin the ball because she got a game tonight to get them damn sparks and they don't want to fall to 0-6. But if they do fall to 0-6 and, and Kaylin balls out, they might look at this a little bit different, right? That we gonna need Kaylin. And I, and I kind of think this is gonna happen. Look, I'm gonna call it right now. If y'all watching this video, you might not be watching it the day that I made it. I'm making this, this video on the 24th. The 24th. So, this, uh, the Fever got a game tonight against the fucking Los Angeles Sparks. And I think Kaylin gonna go the fuck off. But I'm gonna tell you something why it matters and it doesn't matter. This is why it matters. Because that casual fan that follow Kaylin Clark, they're gonna be like, see, I told you she was gonna do the, do the shit that she needs to do. All they gotta do is let her play. It's the coach. The coach doing this, blah, blah, blah. Then the other motherfuckers gonna be like, it don't fucking matter. We did that before her. Look at how much she got to do. It's going to be something. But we need that casual viewer. Him or her to stay with the sport because of her doing good. And now they can just blame everything on the fucking coaches and other players. And you continue to have that viewership. But everybody's going to feel the same way that they feel. The competition was already there. That's why that bitch ain't doing as good as you think that she should be doing. Because they d her ass up. Let me tell you something. Caitlin, your defense is horrible. So much, in fact, that they take you out the fucking games when it's clutch time. When it's crunch time to take you out the game. When it's a, a fucking offensive possession on the other team. They take you out because you're a liability on defense. So you know what you got to do? You got to get your motherfucking ass in the gym. Strength and conditioning and start fucking playing defense. You got to have both sides of your game tight. Because if you don't, you're going to get fucking exposed. But I think she can do it. She got some blocks. That motherfucker be getting blocks in some of these guys, man. I think she's getting that too. I just think she's too small. I think she's small. She's six feet. All these other bitches that y'all talk about in the WNBA, they tall as fuck. They tall as fuck. And this is one of the things that I see that's happening with y'all WNBA, man. Like, and you can agree to disagree. But when the NBA was around in the beginning, in the infancy stage, that shit was trash. So much in fact that they was going to get rid of it. They going to pull a plug. But then you started having motherfuckers come around like Bill Russell and Wilt Chamberlain and the Koozies and motherfuckers like that that started like revolutionizing the game. It didn't get its entertaining value until Larry Bird and Magic Johnson. When Larry Bird and Magic Johnson came into that motherfucker, they had already had a rivalry that built it in college. Magic Johnson beat that motherfucker Larry Bird in college and he beat him in the NBA. So what you can have right now is some parody in the WNBA with our very own Larry Bird versus Magic Johnson with Kaitlyn Clark versus Angel Reese. I'm calling it. 
That's what's going to have to happen. It, it has to. Because Angel is quietly bawling over there where she is right now. She's quietly putting up status stats. She fucking, she was able to hold fucking Brianna Stewart in check. And Brianna had to give her her fucking props. They fucking gave the Liberty their first loss of the year. The Chicago Sky. So be on the motherfucking lookout for, I'm, I'm calling this rivalry because the WNBA needs parity. You bitches don't understand that what I was saying was that you needed Kaylin to succeed because it kept the eyes of the casual viewer. And at the same time, if Kaylin's going to get paid for fucking going out there and balling, your favorite WNBA player for somebody that's going to get fucking paid too. You don't think Angel Wilson ain't going to get fucking paid if if, if Kaylin Clark is getting paid, or you think Brianna Stewart gonna get paid? This bitch was the MVP last year. What are y'all talking about? This is what I was saying when I say I need that bitch to succeed because she's gonna bring the money into the league that needs to be. Now listen, there's some other shit that's happening right now that y'all not realizing because the Aces had that they earned a, a sponsorship from these motherfuckers in Vegas. All they had to do is wear Vegas apparel, and these bitches will be on a hundred thousand dollar annual salary with them. Everybody on their team. And the WNBA is investigating that shit. They, they stopped it. And let me tell you why they stopped it. Because it didn't come from the WNBA. So since it didn't come from the WNBA, the WNBA can't get their hands on that, that fucking, the, the income. They can't get no, none of the earnings coming from that entity that's fucking supporting those ace players. So they're going to try to say, well, this might be a breach of contract or some dumb shit like that. Yeah. Because the WNBA ain't going, and they're not getting a piece of that 100000 that y'all get in a year. Look, I looked at something, right? The, the, the NBA makes, it's like a $200 billion company. Did y'all know the WNBA is a $20 billion company? I said $200 billion, right, for the NBA. Okay. And the WNBA is a $20 billion company. If you motherfuckers are a billion-dollar corporation and y'all only have 12 teams, why the fuck are y'all getting paid pennies on a dollar? Usher in Caitlin Clark to show why y'all should be getting paid and you motherfuckers gonna outshine her already. They forcing this shit down y'all throat that that's gonna be the one. They did it with Larry Bird. But let me tell you something. Larry Bird was fucking good. He was good. So they had somebody they could get behind and nobody would recognize the shit for what it was. Same thing with Clark. That's why Clark needs to go out there and ball tonight. So it can continue to keep that revenue coming up in it so y'all can get paid. Because they don't want y'all to get paid from no other, no other entity. They want y'all to get paid from the WNBA so they can control how much y'all get paid. I said that shit. They don't want y'all women making no goddamn money. They don't want y'all. Because y'all actually do have a good product. I've seen the other women play just because I came over here because Caitlin. And when I say that, I say that to say this. I wasn't watching sports like this at all for a very long time. Look, if you're watching this channel right now, I'm not a motherfucking stat person. But I will give you some stats if I look it up on my other screens. <laughs> but if I'm not looking that shit up, I don't know what to fucking tell y'all. I don't know what to fucking say. If I didn't watch a highlight, I probably didn't watch the game, so I can't give y'all shit. But I'm trying to change that. I'm actually getting back involved into seeing these shits because I got time. or well, a little bit of time. Look, if y'all don't motherfucking be seeing me on this bitch consistently, it's because I'm working on, uh, I'm in school right now. So I got other shit I got to do. But. I'm giving y'all this shit, man, because it's my opinion. It's the raw and honest to God motherfucking truth. And that's what the hell we need right now in these times. The honest to God motherfucking truth. That Caitlin Clark is Larry Bird. Andrew Reese is Magic Johnson. And Juju is Jordan. That is y'all fucking lineup. And all you other bitter ass bitches can be mad as shit. Y'all mad it wasn't y'all. Y'all mad it because y'all don't look good. They couldn't fucking sell that product of y'all being pretty. And now they, uh, all these goddamn players got somebody on the team looking like something. Boy, you got our attention. <laughs> you got our goddamn attention. Motherfuckers is coming in. They watching the goddamn product. Thank y'all. Now let's pour back into them and make sure they get what they deserve. Let's make sure that these women get what they deserve because that's really what I'm all about. Making sure that our women that we're supposed to be protecting get what they deserve. So these bitches need to get what they deserve. <laughs> Give it to them. I want y'all to go out there every night and ball the fuck out. Make Kaylin Clark get her ass in the gym, work on her game. I know she can, I know she can play against y'all. 
It's only a matter of time because she's, she's been putting up buckets, but they ain't no, they're not correlating to wins. And what's going to happen is these bitches going to be able to pick number one again if they can't win no games. They're going to have the last three number one picks on their team. And all they're going to do is go get a better coach because this coach is fucking trash. And now look at what you're going to have. It's going to be a whole lot different then, guys. A whole lot different then. And... I want LeBron James to not compare Bronny James' situation that Caitlin Clark has going on in the WNBA to his son that's entered into the NBA draft. Because I'm going to simply say this shit. I'm, this is not hate for me. I'm going to simply say this. This motherfucker averaged five points a game. Like four assists. Like two rebounds. This was his average, guys. If this guy's name wasn't LeBron James Jr., or Bronny James, or any of that shit, nobody would give him a look. But since he is him, that's why he's getting that look. Don't you compare your shit that's going on with Kaylin over in WNBA to your child, because it's way different. First off, Kaylin Clark is better than goddamn Bronny. Get that shit up out of here. She hurl his ass. <laughs> Fucking get out of here with that bullshit. <laughs> now nah, I'm sorry, here, <laughs> B. But as for women, as for Caitlin Clark is a woman in their league, she's fucking good. You put Brian in his this league, Brian, now nah, he's not gonna be as good as Caitlin is in her league. That's what I'm trying to say. That's what I'm trying to say. So this is what you are doing. You're sabotaging, you're sabotaging your son. Like I said on the last episode, none of these superstars' children had to face adversity. That's why Jordan's children wasn't fucking good. No adversity. They was given everything already. They were supposed to make it because their daddy was Michael Jordan. But shit, did Jordan actually work with his son just as much as he worked on himself? I don't, I don't know. I don't know Jordan life. I don't know, but I'm just saying. You would think that the bitches would have made it to be something, but they wasn't. But they wasn't because they don't live the life that these players lived before them. They had no adversity. Yeah, you can say that this man had a heart attack. I told y'all, but if that's what happened, this motherfucker don't need to be playing the NBA right. We need to be monitoring him to see if this shit can happen again. So, Kayla Clark, new rivalry that y'all got going on in the WNBA with, with Angel Reese, who could possibly be my cousin because my last name is Reese. <laughs> and I've been on here calling all kind of crazy ass names. Look, I don't mean no harm by it. Like I told you, I'm an 80s baby, guys. Look. The game is coming on tonight. The Sparks, I'm telling y'all, they got the best looking uh, WNBA roster, period. <laughs> Go check it out for yourself, guys. Thank y'all for tuning in. Look, man, let me ask you, how did y'all find me? How did y'all find this channel? Like, like, tell me how. And uh, where y'all from? Like, where y'all guys watching this, this video from, man? I, I like to know. I like to engage with the, with the, the, the viewers, man. It's, it's fun. And I want y'all to understand that this Caitlyn thing, in the end, is really about business. It's, it's really about business, and that's the product that they chose to stand behind, and they're going to gonna stand on it. They're going to stand on it one way or the other. So if anybody in the WNBA got a problem with that, just go out there and beat that bitch. <laughs> that's it. Go beat her. Once you beat her, there ain't nothing else you can say. I told y'all, when you're getting your one-on-one -on -one matches, make sure that bitch ain't scoring. Make sure she's not getting past you. You're blocking all her shots. You're taking the ball from her ass. That's what you're doing. And actually, that's what y'all are doing. Welcome to the WNBA, Caitlin. You thought this shit was going to be easy? They, them, them butch bitches already told your ass that it wasn't. <laughs> they already told you that it wasn't. So, welcome. Oh, and you're finna go against Candace Parker tonight, too. She on that team, too. And she's one of the OGs of looking good. I'm telling y'all, they got some. They didn't start looking good until Candace Parker like that and, and Skylar Digger. They, they just started looking like something. I'm being rude as fuck on this microphone. <laughs> Let me get off this shit before I say something else that I don't need to be saying. Thank y'all guys for tuning in. Please, if you haven't already and you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Hit that notification button so you know when your boy drop videos. I got a gaming video coming up pretty soon. It's Resident Evil 8, man, for all my gaming guys out there and girls. Look, y'all take care. Peace. Mm -hmm.